Example 114, butt dialing 911 is a growing problem. In New York City, a 2012 report stated that 40% of calls made to 911 were dialed in error from cell phones. The report looked at a sample of 743,000 calls handled by New York City's 911 operators. It struck a 98% confidence interval estimate of the true proportion of NYC 911 calls that are made in error. Before this report, the mayor of New York City claimed that more than 45% of the calls made to 911 were due to butt dialing. Did this report contradict the mayor's claim? Okay, so let's take a look at that problem by you know, looking first at what they're asking us to do. It's clear they say construct a confidence interval, a 98% confidence interval, to estimate the true proportion. So it's a proportion confidence interval. So let's copy down the things we usually need for those intervals. We need a sample size n. It says they looked at a sample of 743,000 calls, right? It's a huge sample size, but that's it. And then they say that the proportion, the sample proportion, of those calls that were made in error, if you look at it, it says that a 2002 report stated that 40% of the calls made were dialed in error, right? So 40%, that's 0 0.40. And then that would lead to a Q hat, right? A sample, um, sorry, the sample proportion and then its complement. That's going to be 60% because remember these two must add to 100. So you would do 1 minus 0 0.40 and you'd get 0 0.60. And then you'll have the confidence level, which is 0.98. And lastly, you'll have the alpha level, which is 0 0.02. Okay, so you have your data. The next step is to come up with our critical value. Now remember, the critical value for these problems is always, if it's a proportion problem, Z alpha divided by 2. So we're going to go to our table and look up Z alpha is 0.02, so half of alpha would be 0 0.01. So we're going to go to the 0.01 column on a T table and go straight to the bottom where they keep the Z values to figure out that number. Let's go do that right now. Okay, so we're looking up 0 0.01 in one tail and we're going straight to the bottom. So let's move our table up so we see that value. And we find the answer to be 2.326, 2.326. Okay, so we found the answer for this to be 2.326, so we have our critical Z value. Our next step is to get our margin of error, so let's do that up here. Remember the margin of error is equal to Z alpha divided by 2 for these problems times the square root of P hat Q hat over N. Okay, so z alpha divided by 2 is 2.326 times the square root of the p hat times q hat is 0 0.40 times 0 0.60. And then we're going to divide all that by the n, which is a huge n, 743,000. All right, so time to take the calculator out and do that calculation. So we're going to have 2.326 times the square root of 0.4 times 0.6 divided by 743,000. Close up the parenthesis, hit enter, and we get a very small number, 0.00132, etc. Right? So the error turns out to be 0.00132. I'm going to store that in my calculator for use later. And let's continue on with the problem now. The last step, remember, is to just do p hat minus e, p hat plus e, right? Okay, so the p hat here is 0.4. And we'll subtract off that e of 0 0.00132 dot dot dot. And then same thing again on the other side, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.00132 dot dot dot. Okay, let's work that out and see what it ends up giving us. So we'll do 0.4 minus the error and 0.4 plus the error. And when you're finished doing that, you'll have the following answers. You'll end up with 0.399, let's say, up to 0.401. So rounding it to three places, that's the result we get. All right, and remember what this says. It says we are 98% confident, right? So we are 98% confident. The true proportion 
is between 39.9% and 40.1%. Okay, so that's the true percentage or proportion of calls to 911 in New York City that are dialed in error. So basically cell phone butt dialing or some other mistaken phone call made. So let's check this against the mayor's claim. The mayor claimed that more than 45% of the calls made to 911 were due to butt dialing. Well, in our interval, we don't have that number 45% in there, right? It says the true percentage is somewhere between like 39.9 and 40.1. And basically this is a really narrow interval that's surrounding, you know, 40%. So basically we're looking at about 40%, you know, a little less, a little more, whatever, but the true proportion is about 40%. The reason why this number is so close to our sample value is because the sample size was so large, right? That's a huge number. And so this number basically um, captures what's probably going on, at least at the moment, in New York City. And so the mayor's claim of it being more than 45% is a little high. So basically he's, he's mis misspoken by you know, overstating how many of them are errored. However, it's still a lot of errors, right? It's just not quite as high as what he said. He said more than 45%, so it's just too high.